the village of Buckton in Upper Wharfdale dates from Norman times, although there is evidence of human habitation in the area as far back as the Bronze Age. Originally a centre for deer hunting in the area, the village lies on the route of a Roman road and is grouped around a village green that has remained unchanged for many years. Part of the village is the attractive Buck Inn, which has survived a number of periods of inactivity over the years to become a popular watering hole with walkers and other visitors to the Yorkshire Dales. Sitting as it does in the shadow of the 2,303 feet high Buckton Pike, it makes an ideal overnight stopping place for those attempting to climb the peak. The main road to Wensleydale and popular tourist spots like Hawes and Aysgarth Falls runs through Buckton. It is normally pretty quiet. But there are a few side roads where yellow lines betray the fact that at times the village can have a parking problem. The village school, a mock gothic building built in the mid-1850s, closed in 1933 but now acts as a village hall. Buckton Pike itself is famous for an annual fell race which attracts leading fell runners from a wide area. On a clear day the pike is an attractive place to roam but a change in the weather can make it a challenging landscape. This memorial marks the spot where in January 1942 a Wellington bomber with a Polish air crew crashed in a snowstorm. Only one man survived crawling down from the fell following the tracks of a fox in the snow. In 1973, he decided to build a memorial to his fallen comrades. Buckton Bridge carries the road over the River Wharf and dates from the 18th century when it replaced an earlier crossing washed away in a storm. It is sometimes called the Election Bridge because a prospective MP promised to pay for it if he was elected. Turn one way at the bridge and a riverside path takes you to the neighbouring villages of Starbottom and Kettlewell. Turn the other way and you are heading for the hamlet of Hobberham, which is part of the parish of Buckton. This attractive walk offers plenty of opportunity to meet the locals. They'll happily pose to have their photograph taken, and are keen enough to make friends. Until they find that there's no food on offer. There are also some fine examples of farmhouses, which help to form the character of the Dales. Kirkgill Manor was once a vicarage and later a guest house, but is now a private residence. A plaque on the wall records something of the building's distinguished history. The George Inn at Hubberham is a traditional Dales pub where, since at least the 18th century, a local parliament sits annually to auction grazing rights on 16 acres of pasture land. Across the road, the Church of St Michael and All Angels dates from the 12th century. It is notable for tiny mice carved into the ends of some of its pews, and also as the final resting place of the author and playwright J.B. Priestley who described Horam as one of the smallest and most pleasant places in the world. Every time I return, I can't help but think he was right. <laughs>